ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday afternoon, the 7th day of January. James Spann here. Nice to see the sun back a little bit today after that incredible deluge for the past couple of days. Uh, interesting weather next week. Boy, it looks cold. That's our headline. Let's go right to some sky cam shots. First off from the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking north, got a field of cumulus clouds. A little lobe is coming down through northwest Alabama, producing some light precipitation in spots with that, as you'll see in just a moment. In fact, we've had some sleet up in Huntsville within the hour. Hey, look at the Tom Bigby. That thing is running high. That's one of our river shots there coming from the Demopolis Civic Center looking south. And uh, that crest at Demopolis will not be reached until about three or four days from now. All of the water that's been coming down, the Warrior uh, and the Tom Bigby will be uh, coming right down through there. And uh, we will see some pretty significant flooding on the Tom Bigby over the next five to ten days. There's the Coosa River in Gadsden. And uh, levels peaked this morning. I think the river's starting to fall now. Uh, but again, all that water heads down to the south, of course. And from uh, Mount Sheehaw, again, a few uh, cumulus clouds, very cold air aloft, uh, making for an unstable atmosphere. And we've got a few uh, convective showers out there, as you'll see. And there's that cold trough, very cold air aloft with that upper trough coming through the uh, state right now. And yep, it's colder today, even with sunshine. Temperatures are uh, much cooler. And of course, it's uh, very cold up north. Readings are below zero in the Canadian border. And Again, we look at these Canadian numbers and just have to have to wonder when will that reach the continental United States. Even at uh, midday, it's 54 below zero on the Alaska-Canada border. I see a 56 below zero in the Yukon of Canada and the Northwest Territories there. That's, uh, that's tough business. And again, that's going to be flooding the uh, United States next week, I'm afraid, and that's going to be a big story. Here's a look at our numbers locally. Again, uh, we've got mostly 50s on the board, but Haleyville showing 47. And uh, again, let me show you the radar. Uh, you can see that little patch of precipitation there running from uh, around Good Hope in Cullman County over to Aniana in Gadsden. And uh, a few sprinkles and probably some ice pellets are in that. Again, Huntsville had a good sleet shower. And there's a look at the uh, closer shot of Gadsden. So some of you in uh, northeast Alabama could see a few sprinkles or, again, maybe some ice pellets, but uh, no big deal. That'll be uh, gone fairly soon. QPF chart for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Monday morning at uh, 6 o'clock, suggesting about a half inch of rain. Don't know if we get that much. Uh, we'll have a few showers around Saturday, probably amounts closer to a quarter inch with that. Well, let's look at the GFS. This is the, oh, I'm sorry, the uh, 12Z run. Valid at noon tomorrow, and we do note some energy uh, riding down the backside of that trough over the eastern U.S., and uh, down below that you can see some hint of flurries or sprinkles over the northeast corner of Alabama, back up into eastern Tennessee and maybe the mountains of western North Carolina. But for most of the state, tomorrow should be a dry day. We'll call it partly to mostly sunny. Friday, again, uh, nice uh, sunny weather with a high in the upper 50s on Friday afternoon. Saturday starting off the weekend, here comes a surface boundary with a chance of showers. Nothing especially heavy. It's not going to rain all day, just some rain at times. And on Sunday, weather looks dry and seasonal, 50s during the day, 30s at night. Now, next week is what we're focusing on, and, and you've heard me say this. I'm not that interested in specific model runs at this early stage of the game. I will be by Friday, but not today. Uh, but you can see the, the trough carving out over the uh, eastern U.S., the ridge pumping up over the Pacific coast. Tuesday, the bottom drops out. Very intense trough tapping, brutally cold air. And down below that, look at the thickness values. I mean, uh, looks like the uh, thickness values are as low as 4,800. That's 1,000 to 500 millibar thickness, the critical thickness values for snow all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And again, I think when the cold air gets in here, we're not going to have a problem with rain, ice, snow. I just don't think that happens. That suggests maybe a few flurries, but no big deal. Now, Wednesday of next week, the cold air settles in. It's going to be very shallow. And uh, understand the thickness values in this chart will not reflect how cold it is. I think Tuesday, we don't get out of the 30s. I think Wednesday, we probably won't get out of the 30s. And Wednesday morning, we could be down there in the uh, 10 to 17 degree range easily. 
And now look what happens on Thursday. A 1,048 millibar high feeding cold air over North Dakota and an impulse on the southern periphery of that. And again, uh, that cold air is going to be probably less than 3,000 feet thick. And that looks like an icy mess to me. And uh, there's a look at Friday, and it's the same deal, a 1,040 millibar high. If anything, the thickness values are lower, and that hints at some chance of maybe the ice or freezing rain changing to snow. So the idea on the table is for brutally cold air to move in here Tuesday and Wednesday, and then some risk of uh, freezing rain or icing problems by the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. Uh, And we'll just see. The cold air is a given. I think that's a very good forecast now. We're confident in saying next week will be very, very cold. The wintry precipitation, it's up in the air. But again, by the end of this week, we'll feel better out, better about a specific forecast. Here's a look at the European, by the way. This valid Monday of next week, and you can see the, the gates are just wide open. Follow those isobars and where they're coming from, right over the pole. Uh, Up in the core of the cold air in Canada, we see some temperatures. These are at 850 millibars, by the way. That's 5,000 feet, 36 below zero Celsius. That's uh, that's as tough as it gets, and that's feeding right down in through here. So uh, what can you say about that? End of the cycle, the 22nd. Well, by golly, uh, you know, we figure toward the end of the month we'll see a moderating trend. This looks pretty cold, and a Vortmax shows up, and who knows with that. But Again, we got to get through next week before we worry about the end of this month, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting week indeed. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and, of course, we invite you to watch us on television if you're local. ABC 3340 TV in Birmingham. I'll be on tonight at 5, 6, and 10. And, of course, updates on the blog. That's alabamawx.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather for the